Hey, y'all. Thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today we're going to talk about pools and privacy. We're going to be talking about whether you feel that your wallet should be exposed or whether it should be truncated or abbreviated with the wallet dot, 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 and then the rest of the wallet at the end. So you have some level of privacy. So not everybody knows your wallet address. I believe that you should have that level of privacy, but unfortunately I find that more and more pools are exposing the wallet and they don't even know it. Some pools expose it and I assume they must know it. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that it's gone. Now I was talking to a crypto YouTuber who just about lost his mind over this and became very upset that I even brought this up to them. They said that nobody cared about this and that I should make a video because I was the only one out there that cared about the privacy. I couldn't believe that. I got into crypto DeFi because of privacy. I mean, we live in a world where information is just gone rampant as far as collection. Um, people are always trying to get as much data on you as possible. And to find um, a place where I can have my uh, um, money or my, uh, my, my private information kept private, uh, well, I like that. And because uh, crypto, or should I say more so DeFi, is my own responsibility, I feel that if I wanted to expose my wallet, I would do it myself and I wouldn't have somebody else do it for me. Now, if I went to a pool and there was a disclaimer that it was released and that my full wallet address would be exposed, I might not mind there. Or maybe I would. Depends if you care. I went on a couple different forums. I went on a couple different websites. I went on some chat boards and some um, uh, uh, chat platforms. Excuse me, I just had some of uh, the McRib. They're back, by the way. I also uh, uh, asked ChatGPT and Gemini. I went on to two different accounts for ChatGPT, and I went on two different accounts for Gemini. I asked the same question, and I got some responses back for it. Let's look at those first, and then we'll get into the different pools. Excuse me. Those are McRibs. They're delicious. So in here, it basically breaks it down that, is it allowed? Is it wrong? No, it's not wrong. It's really up to the mining pool operator, really. Now, a lot of mining pool operators have somebody build a mining pool for them, and some of them maybe created it themselves. If they created it themselves, then they need to do a little bit more work on their pool, or maybe they have, and this is what they wanted. And if they bought their pool from somebody else who developed it for them, and they know nothing about it besides changing a picture or some colors, which is cute, but if they don't understand the privacy aspect of the pool, then I can only think that maybe they don't understand the security also of the pool. And if they don't understand privacy or security in a mining pool, I would question the pool itself as a whole. Now, when I did ask all of the chats, the bottom line, the basic comeback was that it's bad uh, OPSEC and bad UX, which is user experience and OPSEC is operational security. And it said that basically um, this wasn't the way it's intended, that the industry standard is to have it truncated or abbreviated. And it said, if this is your pool, let's fix it immediately. And it said that if it's not your pool, you should consider moving. Now, if you don't care about this stuff, then you're probably in the right pool. But if you do care about these things, you may want to consider it. I was asking on Bitcoin forums, and they had a lot of great people over there answering a lot of great questions. I also asked on the Bitcoin 2 uh, chat about this. And I got to say, um, to steal a phrase from this video, uh, it's a very shallow pool over at Bitcoin 2. Um, they were saying, what do you have to hide? and things like that, uh, you know, but it's like me saying, well, what's your bank account information? Why don't you give me your bank account information? Um, you know, it's because it's private and you don't want me to have it. Same idea with this, but they use things like, you know, what are you trying to hide? And, and uh, all, all this stuff. One guy even started talking about the Z miners and privacy and saying that it was the Jews that were buying all the Bitmain Z miners because they're trying to hide their money in Israel and this is how they're doing. I mean, I got to tell you, the conspiracy over there and the way these people talk is just completely uh, a, a slow motion train wreck uh, um, or 
or what you wanted to call it, but it's over there. If you want to find someone who, who comes where you have better answers and more like-minded people uh, who can answer a question uh, with at least somewhat of an educated answer, I'd suggest going over to the Bitcoin forums. And what I got over there was some really great answers. Some people disagreed, said that, you know, um, a pool doesn't have to do that. And I agree with that, though. I do agree with that. Um, some people were saying that there's actual websites. There's one person that said there's an actual website that you can go and put in an abbreviated wallet, and it will try to extrapolate the middle portion that's missing and give you that wallet. So there's even that out there. You know, uh, there's a lot of ways. But in the end, uh, and that was the, the, I think the big argument was that if there are these ways to figure it out, then what does it matter? Well, I think it matters that there should be some level of security, some level of privacy uh, that should be, you know, given to the miner um, and not just thrown uh, out the window and say, well, tough luck. Um, I think that the industry standard and as a lot of the chats that I found um, would say that it is an industry standard to truncate the address, but a lot of these pools don't. So with that being said, let's hop over and check out some of these pools. So the first one I got is Jack Pool Mining Pool. Um, over here, they don't play around. On Jack Pool, if you go to miners, the wallets are completely exposed, which in itself is its own version of transparency. I mean, they're not hiding it. They're showing you that they're gonna show your wallet address. So if you're here, your wallet address will be exposed. Um, that's the choice that you make. They don't hide that fact. As we get further in, you'll see how other people hide it. Now, what's the big deal if somebody knows your mining address? Well, I'll tell you what. I was able to figure out what some one person's wallet address was because they talked about the hash rate that they were producing on a certain pool. And there was a huge gap in between their hash rate and other hash rates. So I was able to figure out that that was their hash rate. Then I was able to take their wallet and put their wallet and look their wallet up and see that they had several miners. Now, knowing that they have several miners or several high end miners that could potentially be at their house, all I then had to do was then because I'd seen this when they were chatting in YouTube, I could look at their profile, find out information about them, go ahead and look over on Facebook, find out even more information, track their wallet and see where their spending habits have been, and then slowly narrow it down to possibly where this person might live and something malicious if something was to happen. Now, I know when I had all of my miners going during the bull run and I had all my ASICs going, I was paranoid. I had a lot of money out there. There was a lot of miners plowing away, making all kinds of crypto, and they were pricing machines. I'd been nervous that somebody would break in and try to steal them, or worse. So privacy was a big issue for me, and I guess that's why this is a big issue and a big topic for me in general, because of that. So um, anyway. Once you figure out information like that, things can go down, downhill fast. This person doesn't bother to even uh, block it at all. But if they wanted to block it, it wouldn't matter because it's exposed in their API. Now, uh, we're here under the Bitcoin one. You can see the miners that are listed. So here we are here in their Bitcoin API. And if you want to know what the APIs are for these public, these pools, these are all public. Um, I'm not going to give it out because I don't want to expose the API for sites that do hide wallet addresses. Um, but then in their API still expose it. But if you go to like, it's this one here, it's jackpool.ru forward slash blank forward slash blanks. And after the, um, website address, if you look up what mining course default AP public API, uh, strings are, you can easily figure out what these are on your own. Uh, I'm not going to put them out there, but on jackpool, if I scroll down from their API, here's all the wallets. And we can see them all right here, fully exposed. Um, so, but they're already exposed here. Uh, another pool, uh, Jellyfish. This one's by Brandon Coin. Um, I was disappointed to see this one. I thought Brandon Coin would have had this a little bit different. But if I go to miners over here, we can see the different miners with full wallet addresses, uh, hash rates. And then I can look up this wallet address. 
And then I can see what this person has 88 terahash. Does he have one uh, big miner, one big ASIC, or does he have lots of little bit axe miners? Um, and you can start to learn a little bit about somebody uh, by this. But again, it's fully exposed. So I guess there is a level of transparency here um, by doing that. The API is, is here and it is public. And if you scroll down, you can again see those wallet addresses. Um, there it is. Uh, everything's fully exposed. Now, OneMiner.net, uh, this one hasn't been working uh, today when I was checking it, but they do uh, truncate their addresses. And let's just click on one and click on miners and see. Yeah, it's, it's not loading. Uh, but this would give a truncated address. The problem is that their API gives it up. Now I'm not going to scroll down here because on their website it is truncated. So I don't want to expose the uh, API with all of the wallet addresses here, but it is here. Uh, another one that's out there is Nerdpool. Now Nerdpool, um, if you go to their, uh, their website here, I mean, it looks like they, uh, uh, wallet efficiency, transparency, and maximum rewards. I don't know what maximum rewards means. Um, our pool's designed with cutting edge technology. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Um, all I do know is that if I go down here to say Bitcoin and I go to miners, I can see that the wallet addresses are truncated. They are abbreviated. Good for you. We're all proud of you. The problem is that what little bit you know about the pool you run is that they're all exposed in the API. Every single coin that's on this site, um, though it may seem that there's some level of security that when you go to it, uh, they're abbreviated. The truth is that they're not, they're all right here. Now, when you change the picture of a website or you change the colors, you know, that's cute, uh, that's fun. But the truth is that you know nothing about the mining pool. Some people built the mining pool themselves and they left it that way on purpose. Um, or maybe they didn't know about enough. They didn't do enough research and they probably should do a little bit more research. And other people bought mining pools from a developer who did it for them and they just turned it on and they're collecting money and it's just really just a cash grab and they know nothing about their own pool except for the silly little things like changing pictures or colors or something like that. Or, uh, But at the end of the day, they wouldn't know what to do with their pool uh, uh, if, if, if they had the book in front of them. I think that's the biggest fear out there is that people who run pools, who know nothing about them, um, who show wallet addresses truncated to give a false sense of security, but only to have it fully exposed on the back end on a public API. That's careless. That's malicious. It's a business. They're making money on you. And they're showing that they're giving you a level of security, but it's really not there. It's fake. And I think that's wrong. Now, I've got a mining pool. It's private. I just mine on it myself. But on here, I do give a low level of privacy here as well. So when you go to my site stats, you can see that I do have the wallet addresses truncated. Looks like I've got some other people mining on this pool. And when you look at my API and you scroll down, you can see down here on the bottom left that I do have the API with the truncated addresses as well. It really isn't that hard to do. If you understand what your mining pool is doing, then it's very easy to do. Now, I will say that everybody does need help from time to time. When I was making my pool, I wasn't getting the correct hash rate registering on my website because Redis wasn't talking to Mining Core frequently enough and I had to increase that so that I would have more um, uh, 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 check marks of where uh, on, on, on uh, hourly on hash rates where I was only getting them, um, uh, say, four times a day. I needed to get it, you know, uh, 24 times a day or, or, or 48 times a day uh, so that I'd have better charts. And I needed somebody else uh, to fix that for me. And when they showed it to me, I, I was, oh, my God, I can't believe I missed that. Um, but 
They mined fine on the pool. They just weren't reporting on here with the correct one because it wasn't reading it fast enough uh, for the Redis to report it to the website. And I did have to hire someone to help me. And it works great now and everything's running and, and, and chugging along and I'm really happy with it. Um, but again, the API uh, is also working correctly. So I think you just got to be careful of what websites you're mining on, uh, where you're going and what you're doing. Uh, do you want to have your wallet exposed? Then the first couple sites I showed you are probably perfect for you. If you want to have a false sense of security, then pools like One Miner or Nerd Pool is a great place for you to mine on. Um, or if you want to have total security, you should probably do a little bit of more investigation, a little bit more research, and find a pool that actually um, respects your uh, mining and your privacy. So anyway. I appreciate y'all checking in. You want to subscribe to the channel buttons right over there. You want to watch any of my other videos. I have one up over there. I want to see those comments down below, please, you know, lay them out there. Do you care about privacy? Does it bother you that these pools uh, expose? I guess some of the ones in the beginning they expose and, and, and they, like I said, they're transparent about it, but it's the other pools that claim uh, privacy uh, or at least try to show you that it's private, but it's not really private and they really don't care about you in the end. Or at least that's how it feels to me. Appreciate y'all checking in. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.